All right, so here I am behind the house. I got my tent set up, it's pouring down rain. We're gonna work on the EP3. I finally got a new alternator. So let's see how much water is in here. I finally covered it, but I think I covered it after it got water in it. But no big deal, because we gotta take the whole thing back apart to get to that alternator. This is my uh, K24A2 with a 50 degree timing gear and a Type S oil pump and an EP3 on a K-Pro tuned by myself. So it's not very fast, it's, but it's faster than it was with the K20A3 100 horsepower. So let's pull this apart and put the new alternator on. And then we're gonna take this thing to this drag strip on Friday instead of taking my race car, which is a 99 EK Civic. It's all beat up, rusty. Here's the build here. It's a Pulsar 3584 RS second gen with a top mount manifold from Schmuck built. Someone local did the up pipe. Turn off this fan. Somebody local did the up pipe. Skunk 2 intake manifold. Uh, it's got a small wastegate on it right now, which I need to change. So I'm fighting boost creep. It's only a 44 milligate, 44 millimeter or 40 millimeter. And I got a 60 that I got to put on. It's got a front mount intercooler, drag radiator. And right now I'm working on the fuel setup. Uh, MagnaFuel 750 in line, dash eight line, because I ran out of pump back here with a hellcat pump it has 22 cc injectors it's on a helltech 1500 ecu 24 and a half by 9 by 13 slicks so it's the recipe to go fast it's got a 80 pound weight plate on the front uh, it's about 66 percent front weight biased right now and I plan to um, maybe add a little bit more up front and try to get some more weight out of the back. It still has sound detonator in it. Um, it is cut back there a little bit though in the sides, but the doors are full. Uh, the dash is uh, emptied also, but all that had was plastic. There's no like metal in there. I didn't cut any metal out of the dash. And stock front bumper. I have a roll cage right here that needs to go in just recently did this so i haven't i haven't ran it like that yet or with that uh oh that's a lie i did run it but that's when i broke the transmission so i recently just rebuilt the transmission with parts from a stock one and we haven't run it because we're out of fuel it's got a nice rusty hood i did cut the trunk most of it but it's still still heavy Really heavy. I don't know if anybody knows how heavy these are. Rusty. Uh, rye wire harness. It's got a twin disc 725. Has a Singer high output alternator. Has port mounts. Uh, Speed factory rods with Wise Co's piston, uh, like 10.5 to 1 pistons. Uh, 50 degree timing gear. Type S oil pump. Uh, stock cams. These are uh, RBB3, I believe. Yeah, RBB3 head. That's actually a K, uh, K24A block and head. It has this, uh, there's a Singer alternator right there. 250 amp. Don't mind this, that's not doing anything. I was mocking up the fuel system for it. Here it is right here. What else does it have? Uh, it has sensors on everything, coolant pressure, fuel pressure, uh, oil pressure. It's got a summit blow off valve, spout fan, just a little overflow. As port mounts. All right.
well let's get back together work let's get back working on the ep3 in the corner now that the rain's starting to slow down a little bit all right so the harder part the hardest part about this whole job is this freaking tensioner on here it is so bad that it, that bolt is so stripped out down there that it is so hard to actually do this right that's always the challenge the other thing i have to do is remove the intake manifold every time i do this at least the half of it because i can't get the alternator out because of the air conditioning line because i have to slide it over if this had a stock engine in it the intake manifold would be facing straight instead of down this gives you more torque on these k24s out with the old and with the new so technically these are a little different between the accord ones that i've been trying to use thinner thicker um it's the same up top but the bottom for sure is different so it actually fits this water pump housing a little different and these things are only 80 amps of power that's it 80 amps so it should work and then we could go racing so i do have this intake manifold for it so this is the cheapest intake manifold that you could get on um ebay or anywhere for a k24 it has the thing here still so you don't have to use a, a block off plate but look how bad it is <laughs> look at that it needs ported so bad they give you a lot of meat to play with at least they matched it right here but like look at that lip right there so much potential so we might mock this up, see if it works. Well, scratch that idea. You can't get this piece off without taking off the water pump housing. And we're not letting all the cooling out. We already let a little bit out because it hits right here. So I must have put the, yeah, the intake manifold was on first, then the water pump. All right, so I took the injectors out. We're gonna test them out, see how they perform. Yes, cat, see how they work. Uh, who knows, like look at that tip's cracked. You know, they've been through, you know, some some life. So let's clean them out. I'll tell you what though, the smell of gasoline is so much different than E85. This stuff smells so bad compared to the E85 I'm used to. It's just, it's all over my hands. All right, this is just an idling test to see what happens. Well, they're all working. This one looks horrible. Is that the cracked one? No. These things are so small. Let's increase them a little bit here. Let's go to high speed. Alrighty, they're all cleaned up, tested, good to go. Very small, but good enough for a stock engine. These are 230 cc, I believe, in my race car. On the same engine, I run 2,200 cc injectors. So 2,000 cc's more on the other car. All right, we're gonna try starting it before I put it all the way back together. Make sure it works. Make sure the alternator works. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I don't have a motor mount in it. I think that matters right now though. Yeah, cause it's probably rubbing. That's what that noise was. It sounded like the crank hitting the side of the thingy. We don't have a mount, we gotta put the mount. All right, got the mount back in. I did have to pull out the cherry picker though. So let's fire it up and see if it charges.
vacuum leak and it's not charging. Well, it's still not charging. I don't understand.